Brakatha Yahweh, Brakatha Yahusha, Brakatha Yahweh, Brakatha Yahusha, Brakatha Yahweh, Brakatha Yahusha, Bahasham, Rachakwadash. Jacob's trouble is real. You better believe it. Shalom Yasharala. Peace Israel. Kahalayim La. Allah Hayanawa. Yahawa. Bahasham. Yahweh Shah, Bahasham, Rakakwadash. All praise to our power. Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, Bahasham, Rakakwadash. Double honor to our apostles and elders, Great Millstone. Peace and blessing to the hopeful elect of Israel. Shalom. Shalom to the hopeful elect. U.S. Justice Department amends federal execution rules. To allow death by hanging, electric chair, gas chamber, and firing squad. Jeremiah chapter 30 verse 7. Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble. But he shall be saved out of it. Daniel chapter 12, verse 1. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble, such as never was since there was a nation, even to that same time. And at that time, thy people shall be delivered. Everyone that shall be found written in the book. Matthew chapter 24, verse 21. For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time. No, nor ever shall be. And except those days shall be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. Jacob's trouble will be a beast. Jacob's trouble will be a beast. Jacob's trouble is real. Jacob's trouble is real. Don't let these other Israelite camps fool you. All right. Jacob's trouble is very real. You better believe it. It is real, man. OK. Now, there was an article put up on RT, which is Russia Today. So this is on RT.com. There's an article entitled U.S. Justice Department amends federal execution rules to allow death by hanging, electric chair, gas chamber and firing squad. Just who do you think this is meant for? Who do you think these different methods of execution is meant for? This is meant for you Israelites. This is meant for the 12 tribes of Israel. This is meant for you so-called Negroes, you so-called Latinos, you so-called Native Americans, and you so-called Hispanics. And you Israelite foreigners that may look like the other nations, but you're still Israelites. This is meant for you. Okay? The time of Jacob's trouble. It's real, okay? And it's all written in the scriptures. This is prophecy. U.S. United States Justice Department amends. The word amend means to adjust or to correct. So. Who are they making this adjustment for? Who are they changing the rules for? It's for you Israelites so they can get you how they want to get you. You know, amends federal execution rules to allow or permit death by hanging. Esau loves lynching you, Jakes. He loves hanging you. All right. He loved doing that during slavery, post slavery. Well, guess what? He's bringing it back in a big way. Lynching coming back in a big way to allow death by hanging electric chair. 
So electrocution, he's going to be shocking the hell out of you in these different concentration camps. Okay? This is all going to be taking place in these concentration camps. Lynching, electrocution. Now we say it's gas chamber. And that should remind you of Adolf Hitler, which what Adolf Hitler did to those fake Jews, to those Jewish people, you know, those Edomites, those are not the real Jews. What he did to them was nothing but a prelude for what Esau intends to do to the real Jews, to the real Israelites right here in America. OK, and abroad, but especially here in America. OK. That was nothing but a, uh, a prelude or an introduction, so to speak. He was testing it out, you know, and over there in Germany, they had those uh, fake Jews numbered, you know. They each had a number. Well, guess what? And this time it's going to be that chip, the RFID chip. That's going to be your number. Your number going to be on that damn chip. That's how it's going to keep track of you, keep up with you. But it says gas chamber and fire and squad. And firing squad, meaning they're going to line you up. They're going to line so many of you up and they're going to shoot you down horrifically. This is coming, man. And we wouldn't be prophets if we weren't warning you. This is to come. All right. This was put up one damn day ago, man. One day. One day ago. Now. This is for federal inmates, so-called. But see, they're really going to be doing this in these camps, too, man. And even dealing with the prison system, if you want to speak on that, who are the majority of prisoners in the prison system? You Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans and Hispanics. People of color, so-called black and brown people, you make up the majority of the prison population. Well, guess what? You're going to make up the majority of the population in these concentration camps and FEMA camps. All right. This is coming, man. Now it says the U.S. Department of Justice has expanded rules governing executions to permit a wider range of methods, including firing squads and electrocution, as five federal inmates are set to face the death penalty before Inauguration Day. This isn't meant for them. This is meant for you because those five federal inmates, they're going to get lethal injection, which that's horrible, too. That's a horrible way to go out, a terrible way to die. But see, these other methods are meant for you tribes. All right. The amended rule was entered into the federal register on Friday, permitting the government greater flexibility to carry out capital punishment using any method prescribed by the law of the state in which a sentence was imposed. While lethal injection remains the most common means of execution and lethal injection, that's horrible. You know how that feels, you know, because you had different scientists that have uh, broke down the. Um, how can I put it? I'm going to just say the, the the feeling. You know. The, the feeling of you getting lethal injection, how that feels in, in your uh, in your system, that gives you the um, the feeling of a constant heart attack. All right. A continual heart attack and panic attack, along with the sensation of drowning. You know, so you feel like you're having a heart attack and a panic attack coupled with the sensation of drowning. That's horrible, man. So they're going to be doing lethal injections to you tribes too, you know? Now it says, while lethal injection remains the most common means of execution and previously the only one permitted under federal regulations, the new rule will accommodate states that allow for alternative methods, including death by electrocution, nitrogen gas, hanging, or firing squad. Esau going to get busy. He's going to get busy. Okay. It's going to be horrible man. The proposed rule change. Was initially floated in August. While the Department of Justice. Accepting public comments. For only 30 days. Half of the period. Typically allotted. 
and passed a White House review earlier this month, according to ProPublica, which was first to report on the amended regulation. While five federal prisoners are currently slated for execution before President Donald Trump leaves office in late January, the rule change is not expected to affect their cases as each is already set to receive lethal injection. Once again, these different alternative methods of execution is not meant for these five federal prisoners. This meant for you Israelites, man. It's meant for you. It is meant for you. All right. Now, let me jump down here. It says presumed president elect Joe Biden has vowed to end capital punishment for federal crimes, saying his administration will not approve any executions. Well, you know what? When the time of Jacob's trouble comes, Esau is going to be like a madman. He's not going to care. So they can talk all this shit right now. All that they want to, that's not going to matter. When prophecy is in full effect, the word is just going to speak, man. It's just going to happen, all right? So they can say this all day. Esau is not your friend, Jake. He's not your friend. The Constitution going to be thrown out the damn window. Esau, being a nice guy, going to be thrown out the damn window. It's just going to be judgment, all right? Because ultimately, it's all coming from Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. Him putting his spirit on Esau to move Esau against you. Remember, Esau is the sinister side of the Heavenly Father. He's the left-hand side. All right, but let me keep reading. All right. So supposedly, Biden has vowed to end capital punishment for federal crimes. And you're going to see this is not only for federal crimes. This, this is just a thing in general. Dealing with the New World Order, expect no mercy, man. You are now entering the New World Order. All right? Expect no mercy. You know? And he says his administration will not approve any executions, meaning Friday's rule change may never be put into practice. That's a goddamn lie. It will be put into practice. That stance reflects growing calls from fellow Democrats to abolish the death penalty outright, arguing the practice is cruel and archaic. Well, we, uh, well, guess what? You ain't seen nothing yet. <laughs> you ain't seen nothing yet, man. But they got another article where it says congressional Democrats condemn execution of a man who brutally raped and buried a girl alive. Hey, man, it's horrible judgment going out. That's going to be happening to people in these camps also. All right. They're going to be brutally raped and buried alive. It's going to get dirty, man. People going to be cremated, you know, people, people getting burned alive. It's just going to be horrible, you know. So they talking about they condemning, you know, execution, man. Esau going to be executing hella people, man. We ain't seen nothing yet, but this just stuck out to me because brothers have shared this article. And it speaks for itself. All right. I tell you what, man. I'm going to play this video. I played it before, but I'm going to play it again for edification's sake. I'm going to play this video and I'm going to read another article. Hey, man, Jacob's trouble is real. OK. Let me get the. Uh, well, that's as high as it goes. It's all good. FEMA death camps and the red and blue list under martial law. While I have no doubt that the NWO cravers at the CIA have their own list of people to round up and terminate, the actual proper agency behind the now infamous red blue lists is none other than FEMA Black OPS. FEMA is not here to primarily help you. Under a full state of martial law, FEMA is here to send you to their detention camps to sort out who shall live and who shall die. Those unfortunates whose names are found among the millions of fellow Americans on FEMA Red Blue lists will never come out of the FEMA camps alive, although they may have to go through hell before they are finally terminated. Such offenders are essentially deemed resistors of the New World Order, 
as my CIA and military insiders told me personally. Oh, all of us in the CIA know all about the concentration camps in America and their purpose. We all know that their purpose is to terminate resistors of the new world order under martial law. Source Michael Maholi, 20 years Naval Intelligence CIA under Bush Sr. For example, the FEMA death camp of the Mojave is a full gas incrementing death camp dedicated to the termination of all on FEMA's red blue list under martial law. I have previously documented this horrific death camp and documented the eyewitness accounts of several former NWO supporters who were flown out there. My friends, Doc Marquis, Illuminati, and Elaine Nost, CIA Lucifer Ian, formerly high level Illuminati Lucifer Ians, but now are supposed Christians for many years, were both flown separately to this facility in the Mojave Desert of California. It boasts a landing strip. According to another contact, a D agent who personally investigated this FEMA facility, it was recently doubled in size to increase killing capacity. It is fully staffed. All staff members wear black SWAT team uniforms. When I asked Doc Marquis what his sentiments were, back when he was a member of the Illuminati and given a tour of his killing facility, his reply was, sheer joy. I rejoiced at the thought of Christians being terminated in this place. When he says Christians, he's talking about Israelites because mainly the Israelites believe in the Messiah. Mainly the Israelites believe in the Bible. Okay. Expect no mercy, man. Esau, he's going to get down on Jake, man. All right. Remember, Esau's kingdom is about to be taken away from him. So this is last time that he has. You know. Since I said that, let me get a quick precept. The last time that he has, right? Revelation chapter 12. And verse 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. We rejoice because of the prophecies coming to pass. Showing our kingdom is at hand. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil, which is Esau, Edom, the Edomites, so-called white man, is come down unto you. Right, so Esau about to get down. The devil's come down unto you having great wrath because he knoweth that he have but a short time. Because once he goes down this time, he's never coming back up again. He's never coming back into power. You know, jump down to verse 17. And the dragon, which is the Roman Empire and America, NATO and EU, this is the image of Rome. This is Rome coming back which is controlled by the Edomites. So the Edomites, which controlled the system, was wroth. He's going to come down with that great wrath. So he's wroth or angry with the woman. Who's the woman? Pursuant to the first verse, the woman is clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet and upon her head a crown of 12 stars that represents the nation of Israel, the 12 tribes of Israel. 12 stars, 12 tribes. Okay, the Lord likened the daughter of Zion to a comely and delicate woman. You know, that's in the book of Jeremiah. Okay. So the dragon was angry with the nation of Israel. The Edomites were angry with the Israelites and went to make war with the remnant of her seed. Jacob's trouble. All right. And mainly he's angry with the remnant, with the elect, which keep the commandments of Yahweh and had a testimony of Yahweh Shah Mashiach. He's mainly angry at us. All right. So you already know we're on the red list, man. Concerning this new world order They want to completely execute us But you know what The Lord going to step up for us man That's why scriptures tell you Strive for the truth unto death And the Lord shall fight for thee The Lord got us man But for the two thirds of our people They have no covering They're going to get caught up In this prophecy of Jacob's trouble Chilling response But typical of this nation's satanists And NWO supporters the FEMA death camp was shown off as something the NWO and FEMA was literally proud of. And there are many more FEMA detention camps whose ultimate purpose under martial law is not to save life, but to terminate human lives deemed unworthy of entering into the dawning of Lucifer's new world order. Know the cold hard facts about FEMA. Which Lucifer is so-called white man. Lucifer is the Edomites. 
All right. They bear the light in wickedness. All right. They, they have the power in wickedness. The earth is given to the hand of the wicked. Job 9 and 24. They are Lucifer. And this is their kingdom on the earth. All right. But they still worship the spiritual demon Satan. All right. Okay. They worship the spiritual demon Satan and they're Satan's children on the earth. All right. And they hate you Israelites, man. They want to take you out. Esau didn't forget about him losing his birthright, man. You know, him losing his birthright. Really him selling his birthright. Okay. And the blessing being given to us. They didn't forget that. That's why they want to slay us. They want to slay their brother Jacob. All right. That's the whole purpose of this new world order and these concentration camps that are fully operational, that are ready. These things are ready, man. And then think twice before going meekly to such camps under a state of martial law in your region. We are all on a red or blue list. And you see uh, George Bush Jr. on here. Now, this is an older video, but it's a good video, all right, because of the information in this video, all right? Once again, you ain't seen nothing yet. What Adolf Hitler did to those Jewish people, which really he didn't kill many of them, but what he did was nothing but a prelude for what they intend to do to you Israelites, the real Jews, okay, that are right here in America. That's what they want to do to you. Somewhere. Those on the red list will be walk on at 4 a.m. and taken to the camps and probably killed. Red list, these people are the enemies of the NWO. They are the leaders of patriot groups, outspoken ministers. Oh, outspoken ministers are not us brothers, us prophets, outspoken ministers. The Israelites that are teachers are not we outspoken ministers, beginning with the elder apostles of Great Millstone and the elders under them. And the brothers in these different Israelite camps of Great uh, Millstone, of Great Millstone, we are outspoken ministers. So guess what? We're on the red list. But guess what? Also, you other camps, you other Israelite camps outside of Great Millstone, you're on the red list too. So don't get scared now. All right. The Lord have not given us a spirit of fear. Yahweh Bashim Yahushai has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. All right. Don't be afraid of this shit, but you still got to know about it. Esau going to roll. You got to know about it so it doesn't catch you by surprise. Okay? But spoken talk show hosts, community leaders, and even probably net leaders. These people will be dragged out of their homes at 4 a.m. and will be taken to FEMA detention centers and killed. This will take place approximately two weeks before martial law is enforced. And you know, the time it may not be accurate. But it's still going to happen, man. You know, the elite, they change things all the time to, you know, keep the public to keep the public off track, you know. And that's the wise thing on their end to do. They want to catch people with the element of surprise. They want to catch you off guard. All right. They want to de-arm you. All right. Blue list. These are also enemies of the NWO. But our followers of the red list folks, these people will be around. Yeah, blue list. That's you different Israelites that are not serious and they just blindly follow people. You blindly follow these leaders and you can be reeducated. You know, Esau, he can get to you, you know. But a lot of y'all are going to die too. Know what you're involved in, man. Know what you're involved in. This is serious. After martial law is in place. And will be taken to the detention centers and re-educated. Various mind control techniques will be used on them. Most will not survive this. Mr. Springmeyer was not specific on it. Yeah, man. So a lot of psychological warfare. You know, MK Ultra. You name it, man. They gonna be getting down on Jake. They they gonna get down, bro. Know what you're involved in, okay? And don't crack. You know, don't give up, man. Exactly who was on the blue list, but I would guess that people such as you and I are on that list. Yellow list, these are citizens who know nothing about the NWO, which is the New World Order, and don't want to know. They the yellow list, these are the, uh, the useless eaters. You know, the complete undesirables. They're just here. They just exist, man. You know? 
Very brain Americans, you know, a bunch of idiots. You're considered to be no threat at all and will be instructed as to how to behave and will most likely do whatever they are told. Unfortunately, there are too many of these to be effectively controlled, so many will be killed or starved. Right, because they want to maintain humanity under 500 million. Esau is planning to depopulate the earth, man. You know, except those days should be short and there should no flesh be saved. And he mainly wants to murder you tribes, you Israelites. Okay, that's why this time is great. You can't compare it to any other time. It's the time of Jacob's trouble. But he, the elect, shall be saved out of it. For the elect say these days are being shortened. You know, the, the people that are written in the book of life, those that are predestined to be saved, man. Those that believe in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. All right. You know, so we pray not to get caught up in, in this prophecy, man, in this prophecy of Jacob's trouble, because it's going to happen. All right. Man, they're going to they're going to be doing Jake horrible in these concentration camps, man. And they're going to chip you. They're going to chip you in these concentration camps. By the way. Once you're in the FEMA camp, they will start chipping the people with the satanic RFID chip 666. Exactly. They're going to be chipping you in these camps, you know, and we'll see exactly how the Lord has it play out, you know, because they may have people getting, you know, microchipped at, at different uh, chipping stations. You know, you may have to go to the hospital and get chipped or you may have just certain certain booths outside where people get chipped, you know, d different uh, tents outside. That are being monitored by the uh, the military, you know, having the different armed guards, people, you know, waiting in line to get chipped, and, and the guards escorting them to get chipped, you know, and and they may do it in these camps. But it it all makes sense. It all makes sense, man. This is prophecy. We're here. It ain't too far off, man. And the Lord said He's gonna do it in your time, you rebellious house. He's gonna do it in this time. Jake wanna act like. That we just gonna be here forever in America, man. Nah, man, it's gonna happen in this time. I believe that. That's my faith. Okay. It's gonna get bad out here, man. Get another article. This is an older article, but it's true. Okay. American Holocaust and the coming new world order. All right. And it's a blog site, American Holocaust Coming dot blog, uh, blogspot dot com. American Holocaust Coming, right? So once again, what Adolf Hitler did was nothing compared to what Esau is going to do to you Israelites here in America. Now this is an older article, like I said, it was put up Sunday, August twenty fifth, twenty thirteen, and it says, "Let me zoom in." Yeah, that's better. That's better. It says, do not be taken alive to the boxcars and camps because <laughs> of uh, what they're going to do to you in these boxcars and camps. Final warning to my fellow Americans. So this is an American Edomite patriot that put this up. As evidence of martial law declaration approaches. I'm repeatedly publishing this sobering alert to my fellow Christians. The real Christians are Israelites, by the way, and fellow American patriots. Martial law is inevitable at this time. And in fact, we see the clear signs of the beginning of NWO takeover even now. As foreign troops flood our nation everywhere, I have explained for 18 years now the horrors that innocent men, women and children, which, you know, scriptures tell you in the book of Job, whoever perished being innocent. This is judgment. All right. Men, women, and children will face in both the FEMA prisoner box cars and the FEMA slash Department of Homeland Security camps. I tell you, it will be brutal rape, torture, and death once they start arresting the Christians. Who are the real followers of the Messiah? The Israelites. Who really believe in the Most High by default? Who has the zeal of the Most High but not according to knowledge? The Israelites. Okay? So they're coming for Israel in general. Jacob's trouble. You know? And it says in all other NWO resistance under martial law, said by CIA insider, which is Michael Maholi. 
The horrors of the camps include human experimentation. They're going to be experimenting on you. And Esau loved doing that. Esau's a mad scientist. Okay? Injecting you with different things. They already want to put this crown royal shot up in you. You know? The, the, the C-Vax. Body organ harvesting. And that's the purpose of the guillotine. To decapitate you so they can, you know, sell your organs. They can use your organs, all right? Satanic human sacrifice. They're going to be sacrificing Jake. And they love doing that type of stuff, man. You know, having satanic rituals and sacrifices using Israelites in particular. Whether it be young boys or young girls. That's why we got to pray for the hedge, man. Okay? This is what they're into. Torture and mind control and more. But remember, we're going to be all right if we have faith. He shall be saved out of it. At that time, thy people shall be delivered. Everyone that should be found written in the book. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. So we're going to be fine as long as we stay faithful. Remember, the NWO is Lucifer's kingdom on earth. Once again, Lucifer are the Illuminati. You know, the Edomites, the, the elite Edomites. All right. And the Bible declares that the final end of Lucifer's NWO is utter destruction. At the hands of an angry God, right, Yahweh is going to send his son, Yahweh Shah, to destroy this place. Now it says, at the hands of an angry God and his elect, right, the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom. You know, the time came when the saints possessed the kingdom. You know, and it tells you those that overcome are going to rule all, well, let me read it. Who shall rule the nations with a rod of iron. Well, that's biblical, you know. So, yeah, we're going to be fine, man, as long as we stay faithful. You ain't got to worry about, you know, the prisoner box cars, you know, the, the different camps they have. But they do intend on doing this to people and they're going to do it. They're going to get away with it, man. They're going to get so far. You know. I'm going to close out with this scripture here. Second Ezra chapter 16. And verse 70, for there shall be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. So it's going to be a great uprising. Basically, them coming up against us is them coming up against Yahweh Bashem Yahushah. You're coming up against the government of the heavens. Esau, Edom, you know. And those that fear the Lord are the Israelites. They shall be like madmen sparing none. The devil's come down with great wrath, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. Right. So that's it, man. For they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses and take you where? To these FEMA camps, concentration camps, you know, where they want to lynch you, you know, use firing squads against you, electrocute you, burn you, you know. Hit you with the nitrogen gas. All right. But we going to be all right. Just hold on, man. Verse 73. Then shall they be known who are my chosen and they shall be tried as the gold in the fire. It's all a test. Here, O ye, my, my beloved, the house of David, say if you have about Shemiah Shai, behold, the days of trouble, Jacob's trouble, time of trouble, great tribulation are at hand. But I will deliver you from the same. There you go. Be ye not afraid, neither doubt, for Yahweh Bashim Yahushai is your guide. So that's it, man. We don't got nothing to worry about. But it's going to get ugly out here. It's going to get ugly, man. You know, it's all contained in the scriptures. You know? So that's it. Lord willing, you were edified. All right? Jacob's trouble is very real, man. Right in your face. Okay? But we're going to be all right. Just stay in the truth. You know, th this is the covering. Blessed is he that watcheth the prophecies and keepeth his garments, meaning you stay clothed with his truth. OK. Without the truth, you're in your sin, which means you have no covering and you don't have the hedge, man. All right. Stay in the spirit. We all got to, man. Double honor to our apostles and elders. Great millstone. Peace and blessed to the elect. 
Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah Bashim Rakaku Dash Babo Kusha Babo Kusha Babo Kusha Abad Babal.